Hey, Internet, it's college football recruiting time and signing day time. We're talking all the conferences. Right now, we are talking Pac-12. Let's start with three primetime players that you will probably see this fall on the field making, making a lot of noise within the conference. Let's go Max Brown, USC quarterback, already enrolled, could actually start as a true freshman. Their quarterback options are not all that great, as we saw late in the season after Matt Barkley got hurt. He is tall, he is built well, he has good poise in the pocket, excellent touch on his throws, especially deep. So, Max Brown, a name that's already probably better than Max Wittick. Thomas Tyner, a running back from Portland going to Oregon. Oregon, of course, loses Kenyon Barner. Thomas Tyner is a world-class sprinter. And he's about six feet tall and 210 pounds. I think he's ready for college football. He should thrive in that Oregon offense. And Priest Willis, somebody who recently committed to UCLA from Arizona, a safety, excellent size, excellent field awareness. UCLA secondary, not all that good last year, not all that good the years prior. He's going to play pretty soon. Three big names to know. Let's go team by team. Washington loading up on the defensive front. Obviously, the two big coaching hires from last season on the defensive side of the ball. They need all the help that they can get, and they've recruited very strong in that front seven, recruiting to the 3-4. They're going to be improved in Seattle defensively. Washington State across the state on the Palouse, loading up on ride, running backs excuse me, and wide receivers. I know Mike Leach likes to throw the ball around a little, so don't take the running back position all that seriously because those guys will eventually become wide receivers too. But loading up on the offensive side of the ball, especially the offensive line, which is important, considering minimal protections in, uh, in Pullman. So let's move southwards. Oregon State loading up with defensive beef, especially on the inside of the defensive line. They lose guys there. They need to build up the depth there. Loading up there and at wide receiver, we see how versatile Mike Riley likes his receivers. Loading up a lot of good guys on the outside. Smaller, like they like in Corvallis, but really loaded for Oregon State. Oregon loading up at the linebacker position. Offensive line is a huge need. We mentioned Thomas Tyner also loading up on the offensive skill positions. They can't get enough of that in Eugene. At Stanford, they lose some defense, but they're pretty stacked. They have a lot coming back. Middle linebacker is a position they've recruited pretty well. Tight end, they've recruited pretty well, obviously, with the loss of Zach Ertz and Levine Toilolo. Cal and Sonny Dykes obviously bringing in a ton of offense, something that has been sorely lacking. It's not a talent thing with Cal. Just a development situation for Cal. Expect Sonny Dykes to turn that around pretty quickly. Going southward, UCLA, a huge class on the offensive line and in the secondary. Actually, UCLA and USC might have the two best secondary recruits in the country. So UCLA has struggled to defend the pass. That will be improved. Obviously, we saw the bowl game against Baylor, the offensive line depth sorely needed, so expect some early playing time from those big offensive linemen coming in locally from the Los Angeles area. Arizona's loading up on offensive skill guys. Let's trust Rich Rod to develop talent. After what he did with Kadeem Carey in year one, they're going to be just fine. Arizona State, not a surprise, loading up with a lot of JC guys for immediate impact guys. They do lose a little bit on both sides of the ball. Loading up on receiver to give Taylor Kelly some options. Very efficient at times, so good to have weapons for the young quarterback. I want to say from Idaho. Utah recruiting a lot in the secondary. Big name Lowell Lotulele. You should recognize the last name because of Star. You'll see him as a day one pick in the NFL draft. So loading up on beef on defense and on offense, really. They're loading up everywhere. A big class for the Utes. And finally, Colorado. They need help everywhere. They've decided to go after it on the offensive side of the ball. I have no idea who their quarterback of the future is or will be, but they're going to be who knows with Mike McIntyre, but they're recruiting a lot more power and speed than they think they've had in years past. So there's your Pac-12 recruiting notebook. There's the rundown. Who are you looking forward to seeing in the fall from the young players? We'll see you soon.